All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be an unboxing of this knife. And as you can see, this is the Great Eastern Cutlery number 83 Tasco, so lockback in stag. And I am filming this outside just because it's really nice. Uh, there's kind of nice light out. So I thought it might make for a little bit better look at the stag. And I'm going to open this with this axial shift that I got recently and am checking out. Now this uh, 83 is from collector knives as you might be able to tell from the shrink wrap and uh, as I always like to mention I really appreciate how Mike packs the knives because you can really easily get that shrink wrap off and then for me making videos I can just rip the shipping label off the back and we're good to go for the unboxing. So let's go ahead and open it up. I always kind of struggle to get these open, but here we are. And um, I've been excited about this one because the stag on these has been looking pretty good actually. Um, so in general, it seems like it's been harder to get really nice stag, but the stag on these has looked really good. So I got this one. Uh, I actually have a friend who really likes these 83s and was looking for them. So this might go to him, but I wanted to at least get to check one out. So let's open it up. Uh, looks like no pin on this one. Not really worried about that. And let's see what we've got. Ooh, pretty nice actually. Some definite character to it. A little different on the other side. You can see it's a little thicker. Well, I guess it's a little thicker at the middle here on the show side but pretty nice a pretty good amount of character like i said these are looking pretty nice i think um especially like i say stag has seemed a little bit uh scarcer and especially nice stag so uh, i'm pretty happy with this one actually it's it's got a a little bit of a darker look to the polished areas and some pretty dark kind of almost popcorn with some valleys also so yeah, pretty pretty happy with this one. Let's take a look at the construction here. So some slight gaps there. I don't know if you can see that, but definitely some slight gaps between the stag and the bolster. Not really so much on this side, maybe ever so slightly. Uh, no real gaps on the back spring that I can see anyway. The tip is pretty nicely centered and sits well within the frame not as low as the Bacote one that I got which sat really nice and low um, but still definitely within the frame let's see how the action is here really smooth actually really nice and smooth did get a an etch I have seen that some of these stag ones have come without etches also which is weird because I'm pretty sure that they weren't finishing any of these in stag during the rendezvous and um, so a, a good number of these you know at least I saw at least 10 or 11 of them uh, just on one Facebook group that, that came without an etch on the bone version. And it seems kind of significant, uh, but those were being finished during the rendezvous. So I thought that was probably why. These stag ones, I don't believe were being finished during the rendezvous. So I'm not sure why I, I did see at least one of these, uh, a picture on Facebook that came without the etch, but mine has it. Uh, so let's see if there's any play. These tend to have like, Honestly, most GEC lockbacks, just a little bit of forward and back play. And this has the the, the smallest discernible amount, I would say. Um, I can feel it, but you wouldn't feel it in cutting. Um, no side to side, which is really nice. The, the forward and back, you know, is something where you kind of expect that. It's not a big deal. I don't really like to see side to side play. And the one that I got in bone did have a little side to side. So I'm happy to see that this one doesn't. Uh, let's see how it feels closing. Nice and easy to unlock. Oh, good snap closed. The, uh, again, the, the bone one that I got didn't have quite as much snap closed as that or as the Bacote one that I got. So see that again. Yeah, pretty nice snap closed. So. A uh, pretty nice knife, not 100% perfect uh, with the slight gap there and um, a, a very slight amount of forward and back blade play, but really nice stag and, and really that's kind of 
one of those things that really I think matters when you're paying for stag, when you're paying the little bit higher price for stag and you're hoping to get a nice piece of stag, it is really nice when you do. So um, pretty cool knife. Like I said, not sure this one's going to stay with me. Might go to a friend, but um, very happy to have gotten to check it out anyway. And if you're looking for, for one of these, I hope you find one. Um, they have been relatively tough to get, particularly in the stag, I think because it is tough to find stag, uh, good stag, so they make fewer of them. But I hope you do find one if you're looking. And uh, as always, make sure you check out my social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook mostly at Knife Thoughts, as well as my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles on knives like this and knife-related topics. And last but not least, don't forget, as always, to go out and do good.